Hey, what's up, guys? This is Nino. Back to you with another Wix tutorial for beginners. And today I'm going to go over the text. Um, so for, for Wix text, you can do multiple things. Uh, I'm going to show you how to edit and add the text as well as customize the text. And then uh, add links to the text. Okay. So here you go over to your add button. You click add, you, oh wow, I already have text right there. So you go right here to text. Now you have four options here, okay? One, you have text. The other one, you have titles, okay? Paragraphs, and then related apps, okay? So let's talk about the theme text real quick. The theme text is very important for your Wix website. It is so important because you need to have the foundation of what your heading one is going to look like, your heading two, and so on to your paragraphs because this will be synced with the whole site. You need it to be synced with the whole site because if not, then it's going to look kind of just odd looking because you have different fonts at different areas of the website. So what you need to do is find a base first of what you like in terms of your text. I'm not going to go that much into details about it, but since I have the theme text here, I'm going to just drag this over, okay? So I'm going to just drag it over into the strip. Oh, didn't even do it. All right. Drag it over into the strip, All right? Now, when you double-click in it, you can pull out the text box file uh, that shows you all the things that you can do with the text box. Uh, this is a little animation as well. And then you got your tutorial Wix help, which in turns, it, it goes to your support. Okay, this is definitely supported by Wix and it's here to help you. So if you want, you could just double click inside here. Okay. You see that you have your themes right here, and it says you know you can choose a theme to match a template. Uh, like I said before, this is very good to uh, this is very good to keep in mind uh, that you want to set your themes first so that your whole website can look uniform and structured. Okay, you got your fonts here. Wix provides you with a lot of fonts, so definitely get uh, creative with whatever type of font styles you want and uh, then you have your font size here you get to adjust it all the way up until let's see until 176 that's pretty big it's pretty big so uh, you have your regular information in terms of what how to edit your text uh, you can bold it you can italicize it underline it you can change the color of the text actually or the text background uh, which you could highlight uh, and then you can add a link um, you got the other basics here you have your alignments your bullets and numbering and then your indention uh, to the paragraph then you have your change the text direction you can change it however you want left or right you got these features here where there's effects so you can style this up however you want, whether you like to have a little bit of black in the background of each text or to make it look like a 3D text. You know, get creative. Be who you want to be because that's what I would want you to be. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we have the character and line spacing. So this is basically how far, how wide, how tall you want your characters to be spaced out, and as well as uh, your line spacing, whether you want it to be very small and very close together when you go to the next, uh, the next line under it, or if you want to make it very big, large, because you're trying to make a statement out there for everybody to see. So you can get very fancy with that. Then you have your heading tag. This heading tag is just to 
basically it's just important to uh, your accessibility and your site SEO. And you can change them without affecting your site design. So definitely keep in mind about changing your heading tag. Okay. So with that being here, I've already made some changes. And you can see that this save theme comes up. Well, what you can do here is you can go to heading one, right? And you can click here and just say save theme. So if I go here and change it to Museo, okay, and I want to keep this same heading one format throughout my whole entire site, I'm just going to click here and save the theme. You see it already prompts you that if you're saving the theme for heading one, it will be updated all around and all changes will be made. So this right here, this can be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. So in terms of if you've already went ahead and created your website and you didn't pay attention to the text themes and you have different types of text out there and you don't know what is your heading one and what isn't your heading one, then that can be a bad thing because if you change something here, it's going to change it throughout the whole site. So if you already done your site and you feel good about it, just go back and make those changes. Um, it's easy as one, two, three, but just be aware that once you make this change, it's going to make it throughout the whole entire site. So don't mess up your work that you have already. And I'll let you guys know about uh, a little trick I did at the end of the video. But so here you can click save. All right. Once you save that, you see that my text up here, it already changed to the, the size, the style, the font style. It just changed everything about the theme. So boom, I have the different type of text throughout my whole entire website. And it was just made that easy by just clicking that save theme button up here. Okay, so next, customizing your text. It's just basically what you do in Word documents. Uh, you have your bold, italicized, and underline, And just get creative of how you want to present your text. Whether that be a heading, whether that be a paragraph, whether that be a subheading, whatever your creative mind will touch upon. Just definitely take a crack at all of these. Um, I'm not going to go really in depth into these because most of you all that are watching this should probably be using Word or some type of form of Word or Notepad. And I mean, it just, this is the, the norm, I guess you can say. This is the norm to putting on text files and stuff like that. But the very interesting thing that I like about what Wix has to offer for you guys is that you can set your link up however you want. So you can go ahead here, highlight the section that you want to be linked. You click link. You see that you have your choices of setting no link to it, setting it to a, just a web address, which that's the HTTPS. Uh, you can set it to one of your pages inside of your website. You can set it to one of your pages anchors that are on your website. You can make it uh, top and bottom uh, where, you know, you can take it to the top, take it to the bottom of the page. You can link it to a document, okay? If you want to download any documents onto here, this is what you need to do. And if you are doing some type of presentation and you want people to click on the presentation one, document well just label that presentation one highlight it come here to document click here and then choose the file that is the presentation one you can link up your email as well to here you can e uh, even link up your phone number this is very important for phone number right here because this will link it up to your phone and for your mobile devices a lot of people are on that right now so i guess you should link it up to your phone number uh it's very easy to use. People can just click on the phone number, have it right there in in their phone for them to call you 
at the drop of a dime. And then you can set it to a light box, which I'll go further into detail about that in another tutorial coming up, which I will call light box uh, tutorial. But yeah, there you have it. That's basically about links and what you can put in the text. Well, thank you guys for listening here. Uh, it's below. Let me know if you want any other tutorials on different things. I do coding. I do a whole bunch of things on Wix. And just let me know in the comments what you would like to have. Yeah. Uh, like and subscribe if you guys would like. definitely appreciate that. I'll definitely get more um, tutorials out for you guys. And yeah, I think that's about it. See you guys until next time.